क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑफ लिमिटिंग एक्म स्प्रिंग इज अटैच टू अ ब्लॉक ऑफ मैस फोर के जी विच रेस्ट इन एक्म इन लिमिटिंग एक्म ऑन अ रफ हॉरिजेंटल टेबल द स्प्रिंग मेक्स एन एंगल ट्वेंटी फोर डिग्री अब द हॉरिजेंटल and the tension in the string is 30 newton part a is draw a diagram showing all the forces acting on the block that this is the horizontal rough horizontal table block of mass 4 block of mass 4 kg string makes an, an angle 24 degree above the horizontal let this is a string tension in the string is 30 newton uh, now we have to represent all the forces acting uh, on this uh, system possible forces acting on this uh, system will be 30 newton force we resolve and find two components one component along the plane and the other component is perpendicular to the plane one component is along the plane other component is perpendicular to the plane this angle is given that is 24 degree so this component opposite to the angle is 30 sin 24 degree this component is 30 cos 24 degree reaction of the plane on the block vertically upward weight is force g acting vertically downward this r is the normal reaction of the plane on this block uh, so since the tendency to movement is on the right side so so friction will be against it opposing the motion but the system is in limiting equilibrium so we are representing the force of friction by a small f these are the possible forces these are the component rectangular components of 30 newton force along the plane component and vertical component vert, uh, component vertical to the plane weight is 4g normal reaction is r and force of friction is small f part b of this question is find uh, the coefficient of friction between the block and the table since the table is rough the system is in limiting equilibrium so so uh, uh, since the system is in limiting equilibrium so acceleration will be zero so we are using here uh, newton second law of motion net force will be net force will be 30 uh, cos 24 degree component of 30 newton force along the plane 30 
cos 24 degree minus force of friction that is equal to mu r so 30 cos 24 degree minus mu r is equal to 0 now we have to find the coefficient of friction we have to find mu and first we will find the value of r normal reaction since the system is in limiting equilibrium so upward forces sum of the upward forces is equal to the downward forces so first of all we will find r r plus and uh, this is r and this component of the 30 newton force is also acting upward vertically upward so we are adding these two uh, forces and it is, is equal to 4g because it is acting vertically downward so r plus 30 sine 24 degree is, is equal to 4g from here we can calculate r r will be uh, uh, 4g minus 30 sine 24 degree In calculating we get r is equal to 27.798 newton now putting this value of r in this equation uh, we get Thirty cos twenty-four degree minus mu and R is at twenty-seven point seven nine eight is equal to zero. And uh, twenty-seven we can write twenty-seven. Point seven nine eight mu is equal to thirty cos twenty four degree. From here we can find the value of mu that is zero point nine eight six correct to three significant figures. This is the answer.